As we can see many doubts and misunderstandings of real life charging speeds, I decided to explain this here. What does it mean that EV car has a single onboard charger or double speed onboard charger? Common information we can find about the speed of charging is that single charger can charge 3.6 kilowatts and double one 7.2 kilowatts accordingly. But a real speed is slower. Why? If we divide 3.6 kilowatts through 230 volts, which is a standard EU voltage, we can find that current will be about 16 amps. This is a maximum current for 16 amps three phase socket per phase, of course, and also common maximum current for private homes in EU. Every phase of such energy grid connection is protected with a B. 16 breaker fuse i mean because there is an obligatory gap between the maximum permitted current and uh, and uh, ev onboard charger with a factor of 0 0.9 of the maximum current this means that single charger would not charge at 16 amperes but it will be 16 amps multiplied by 0 0.9 which equals to 14.4 amps this current we see while charging of 3.3 or 3.6 onboard charger, depends how it is declared. Double chargers will have exactly 28.8 amps. That means that the real power will be 6.6 kilowatts and not more. For compensating that 0 0.9 factor, we use a voltage boost. Axelf, Axelf uses plus 20 volts uh, boost but not more than 250 as a standard voltage output, which is absolutely legal and permitted. This increases charging speed by about 10% over a standard voltage and fully compensates 0 0.9 factor. So single chargers, car chargers of course, will have speed 3.6 kilowatts instead of 3.3 and double chargers would, will achieve 7.2 7 kilowatts instead of 6.6. .6. Of course, there is no free energy and both phases powering Axelev will be loaded at 16 amps instead of 14.4. These fully loaded phases can still be used if grid monitoring in Axelev is on. It reduces charging speed or stops it when additional load is detected and this protects fuses, I mean breakers, to be turned off.